Hello, my name is Mike Brown. I'm the Senior NEC Support and Sales Application Engineer at Sotel Systems. This is the next in a series of videos that we are producing to help integrators with installing NEC solutions. Sotel is both a hardware distributor and cloud SIP provider based in St. Louis, Missouri, with locations spread throughout North America and Canada. Let's get started. When connecting to the Internet Telephony Service Provider, or ITSP, it is recommended to use NAT or Network Address Translation and do not assign a public IP address to the SV9100. There are several methods to program the SV9100, PC Pro, Web Pro and Phone Programming. In today's example we'll be using Web Pro. To start with, we need to see how many licenses are allocated to the SV9100. To do that, we check the Feature Activation tab. While we're in here, we're looking for the total amount of system ports, 0300, as well as the amount of SIP trunks licensed to the system in 5001, and how many VOIP IP licenses are allocated as well, which would be 5103. Now we need to assign the address to the VOIP board. This is done in system data. Clicking on command 10, 12, and inputting the IP address in 09, as well as the subnet mask in 10, this will allocate the VOIP board a static address to that board. It is recommended to set 10.12.01 to the Ethernet port to 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. The default gateway would be placed in command 10.12.03. These commands require a reset. Click the apply button and then reset the system. Now we must assign the IP address for the VOIP DSP resource board and this is done in command 8426. This command here is also responsible for the UDP ports as used for port forwarding as shown below. The static IP address is assigned in 842601 for the GPZ-IPLE daughter board. Click the apply button when done. Next we must enter some information pertaining to SOTEL SIP trunks. To start with we go to command 1028. In this information field we're looking for information provided by SOTEL systems. 102801 for the domain name will be sotelsystems.com. The host name will be VOIP. Transport protocol used will be UDP with the domain name assignment of domain name. We will always use Profile 1 to start with. When done, click the Apply button. Now we must assign the total amount of SIP trunks to the system, and this is done in command 1068. In this example, setting 01 for a SIP trunk type set to SIP, we're using starting trunk port of 100 with a total amount of 6 ports. So trunks 100 through 105 will be used. When done, click the Apply button. Next we assign the SIP server information in command 1029. Using Profile 1, we input information given to you from Sotel Systems. In 1029.05, we set the register mode to manual. In 1029.11, the registrar domain name will be set to voip.sotelsystems.com, leaving the domain name and proxy host name blank. The SIP carrier of choice in 1029.14 is set to carrier N. If using a NAT router with the NAT router address, you put them in 1029.21 and 1029.24. Click the Apply button when done. When using the SIP registration method, we want to assign in command 1036 the relevant information given to you by Sotel Systems. Using the registration 00 with profile 1, we enter the user ID followed by the authentication user ID and the authentication password. Click the apply when done. Now for some basic trunk programming. In command 1401, we're going to identify the SIP trunks used and give them a name. In my example, SIP trunk 1. Another feature used in here is trunk to trunk transfer in 1401.13. Make sure they're turned on for each trunk and click the apply button when done. Next we put the trunks in a trunk group. This is done in 1405. 
as you'll see, trunks 100 through 105 are in trunk route 10 with my priority set 100 through 105. When done, click the apply button. Next we assign the trunk group routing in 1406, putting first choice route for route 10 using table number 001, click the apply button when done. The next step is to check the IP trunk data setup in command 1418. Identifying your SIP trunks, you want to ensure that 1418.01 is set to SIP trunk using profile 1 for each trunk. When done, click the apply button. Next we assign incoming call service in 2202. This information when selected for trunks, SIP trunks 100 through 105, we assign mode 1 through 8 as DID. When done, click the apply button. Next we would assign the DIDs given to you by SOTEL systems. This is done in command 2211. In this example, the received digits of 7112 are ringing target number 246 with the DID name of SOTEL. Depending on the amount of DIDs you have, based upon the translation table, they will be applied in this command. Click the apply when done. Next we assign in system options 2008 for class of services used 1 through 15 the ISDN clip which is the caller ID sent out from the user 200813 would need to be checked click the apply button when done now to assign what calling party information is sent to the network we go to command 2117 in this we're looking at what's sent out from the individual trunk in this case 415 529-7112 is sent on a trunk by trunk basis as you'll see. Click the apply button when done. If sending out information based on a station, we'd look at 2119. And in this example, using extensions 101 all the way to 143, we're sending out the same 415-529-7112. That is the calling profile number of 1 for the SIP trunk. When done, click the apply button. Next we assign the DNS or domain name server information in command 1067. This information would be given to you from SOTEL systems. Programming you would turn to on with a DNS IP address in this case 4.79.132.219. Click the apply button when done. Now we must assign the SIP VoIP resources to the blade. This is done in command 1054. In this command, license code 5103 must equal the amount of VoIP resources loaded to the system, in this case 76. The OIP resources are allocated for SIP trunks, SIP stations, and IP terminals. This must be done in every installation. Click the apply button when done. Finally, to complete the programming, if installing SIP trunks connecting to a voicemail for DTMF signaling, we need to assign command 84 34. Using profile 1 DTMF relay mode, we want to set this for the SIP trunk to RFC 2833 using DTMF payload number of 101. When done, click the apply button.